welcome back to the Death Ray Cat channel. I'm showing you how to play some rockabilly guitar. This one's a little bit on the jump blues side of things, but it's essentially in a 12 bar blues in A. It's by Nick Curran. It's called Boogie With My Baby, Boogie With My Baby. I'm going to show you the intro and the rhythm part and the start of the solo. If you want to check out the rest of the solo and get the tabs, you can join up to my Patreon account. I'll tell you some more about that later. But for now, let's have a look at the intro. Okay, for this intro, we're starting in A. Fifth fret on the E string. And we're sliding down from one fret up. The next two notes are doing this. Second fret on the A string and seventh fret on the A string. So you got that little run there. The next part we're using that first finger on the fourth fret and we're going to slide down to the C. So you've got the next two notes, sixth fret on the A string, fourth fret on the D string. So you got two little runs that we're putting together there. And next up we go into the A chord shape. Goes in with a slide and then descends down. In essence, you're taking that shape from the A major chord, descending one fret and another one fret. Playing out those notes individually like this. And then we're going to finish off on this E chord. It's an augmented E. All you need to know is it's this shape. It's a little like the C shape, but we're flattening that first finger into a bar. So all together you've got... And he's hitting that chord three times. That's your intro. After that, we're going into a 12 bar blues in A. A lot of the times when we've been playing the 12 bar blues, say we're in A, we'll play in A for a bit, go up to the D, back to A, then we'll go to an E, and back to the A. In this instance, we're going to do what's called a 2-5 turnaround because we're going to go to the second chord of the A major scale and then the fifth. And it's going to sound like this. We're going to be playing an A. And to the D. Back to the A. B minor. So I'm going to show you the guitar part now, it's played with some brass on the record as well and that goes like this. So we're going to start on the A, first finger on the 5th fret on the E string. Then with your third finger, we're going to slide from the seventh fret to the ninth fret. And it's a really quick slide. The note that's ringing out is going to be this one here, which is the F sharp. Then with your first finger, you're going to go back to the seventh fret on the A string. And then you're going to go back to that F sharp as well. If you 
take out the slide. If you're struggling with the slide, just go straight to the ninth fret. <laughs> Do that a bit slower. That's what happens when we're in the A there, so when the chords change to the D, we're going to do the same thing but in D, and so we're just going to move everything up one set of strings. So your first finger is going to be on the D on the A string, which is the fifth fret. And then you repeat the same pattern. So slide up to the ninth fret with your third finger. Then go back to the seventh fret with your first finger. Then back to the ninth. Back to the fifth. And then you're going to come back to the A. So far you've got So you've got up to your 8th bar there and then what's going to happen is we're going to go to the that B which then goes to the E and instead of playing those chords, we're going to do a little run that kind of hits those notes and fills in the gaps with a nice little run. And that goes like this. So that little run's used quite a lot in these two five turnarounds. It's quite useful to, to play and squeeze into your playing if you can. You can play this nicely in the little area between the 4th and 7th frets. You don't have to move your hand around too much, so starting with your little finger on the 7th fret, on the E string, that's your B. Then you're going to use your first finger to play the 4th fret on the A string. Then we're going to do a chromatic run up, so we're playing each one of those notes. And we're hitting each note twice. So there you can see we've started on the B. And then you've got up to that E note there. Which is following the chords. And then once we're up there we need to get back down so we're going to play not playing each note but we're playing starting with your little finger on the seventh then you're going down to your fifth fret there then to your fourth with your first finger and then landed on your B again and then you're ending it with your A which is your second finger on the fifth fret on your E string that's an A so all together that little run, which will go straight back into the riff we've been playing in A. So all together you got this. that throughout the entire song if you want to jam along to that song you can do that I've got a backing track as well over at the patreon and also with a lot of these things you can move that around wherever you want if you're playing in E you're gonna play it open strings like this And if you're trying to think of that rhythm, it's... Think of that shortening bread tune. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to show you the start of this solo as well. Um, we're going to start off with an A shape, A major. So it's all based around those three fingers and this chord. Starting off with that A. We're starting off one fret below that chord and sliding up. And sliding back. That's your first part. It's kind of playing some kind of ghost notes here that like we landed on that A. Next up we got a nice little run. The fifth fret on your B string. Fifth fret to seventh. Then your fifth fret on your E string. Then a little run from your seventh, eighth and ninth. Going back to your A there. Following those notes down again, 7th and 5th fret, ending on the 5th, and then another little hammer on here, then we slide up all the way to the 12th, we do another little chromatic run, 12, 11, 10, then a hammer on from the 8th to the 9th. Then with your third finger, we're going to go onto the B string to the 10th fret. That's a nice little run there. And then we're going to end on that 7th fret on the B string. Alright, thanks for watching, that's all I'm going to show you for now. If you want to see the rest of the solo and get the tabs, head over to the Death Ray Cat Patreon. There's some different tiers, you can pay £5 a month and get bi-monthly videos. If you want to just pay £1 and give some support, that's fine as well. If you want to support, you can go to the website as well, you can go buy a hat, go and buy some music, or just follow us on Instagram, Facebook, whatever you want. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again.